Hello Libra! Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the second half of November of 2020 Spiritual Guidance Reading. I'm going to be starting out with the Wisdom of the Oracle deck and I'm going to lay a circle spread. And if necessary, I will clarify this spread with one of my many tarot decks. So let's go ahead and start. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless whichever Libra energy I'm reading for during this general reading. Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, and so on. Bless them with clearly defined messages regarding the second half of November of 2020. Okay. Got to turn on the fan here. Okay. So in the center of the circle spread, we have a Libra who by mid-November of 2020 is really feeling or is being guided to give thanks to the fact that there is truly no place like home, that you are where you are, were meant to be, um, that you have beautiful things around you that maybe you haven't been giving thanks to spirit for. Why do we give thanks to spirit for that? Because then spirit knows that you want to continue to maintain that or build upon it even because negative energy is a real deal, right? If we think negatively and you can see it at times in your life, negative results transpire. It's a karmic thing that is automatically set in motion when we are born. So in your thoughts position, we have come to the edge. So this is a Libra who's needs again with this card i always get give thanks to the path you've been on and now come to the edge and see what other path you can open up for yourself so there's a libra here by mid-november who is maybe coming to the edge looking at a new path a new idea where they can create a business out of their home so we do need to realize that we're all on the same internet platform no longer do we have to work for another human being, a CEO, but we can create our own business, especially at this time where it's going to grow and prosper into the next 10, 20, 30 years. But those who uh, get kind of stuck in their ways or those who are negative, those who are resistant to change at this time, uh, may be nudged into a new direction because the universe is shifting us into a higher, better path so that the past and the old negativity can now burn away for us. So in your relationship sector, representing the second half of November of 2020, we have a Libra here who's sitting with the energies of here and now. Spirit is asking that you sit for a minute and reflect on the past. What were the most difficult lessons you had to learn and how did you conquer them? How did you rise above them? And who are you now? Because you have the future here. How do I take what I've learned, step into a new path and make changes in the area of home or family? Maybe even a home business. So in the creative aspects position of the circle spread, we have the tribe. We have a Libra who is wanting to create something um, during the second half of November, where they can come together with their tribe, with uh, their family, their friends. There may be some form of rebirth in relation to one's family. Again, I'm feeling like spirit with these two cards is saying there's no place like home. There's no place like your family and friends. Truly, these are your soulmates, right? We pick this path. We pick these people. We pick these circumstances so that we could conquer them and discover <clears throat> who, what we were supposed to create and who we were supposed to stay and give thanks to, those around us, family and friends. Now's the time, it's a call for big giving thanks and helping others. So it, maybe there's a Libra here who is really wanting to help or is thinking about maybe their own changes that they've had to go through in the area of family, friends, home, and et cetera. So in the actions position of the circle spread, we have clean it up. So the advice here for this Libra throughout the second half of November of 2020 is exactly like I just said, clean up your mind of any negative thoughts <clears throat> of anyone or anything that no longer serves you. You know, clean up anyone or anything 
I just had a message and it came right out of my head. Clean up situations regarding to family or friends. Give thanks to the beautiful home environment in your, that you are currently existing in. Come to the edge and see what you can create that is positive for yourself, most importantly. Okay, we're getting interrupted here. I forgot to plug in my computer. There we go. Goodness gracious, so many interruptions. So you may be feeling a lot of that during the second half of November, Libra, like stop, go, stop, go, you know. What am I going to do in this area of family? Do I sweep away from someone regarding family or friends? And that's what's happening for the collective is, can I trust this person? Um, can I, should I help this person? Or at some point, should I just sweep away from the whole thing and get back to what I'm creating in my own relationships as I manifest ideas and a new path for the future? So emotionally, yeah, I think by the end of November of 2020, this Libra is feeling the regeneration, the spiritual transformation energy of, wow, look how far I've come and look at the ideas I am manifesting, the projects. For this process is grounding me. It's helping me to really reflect, especially in relation to another or others on the past and now the future. Look at the past sign is pointing towards family and friends. Some Libras may be thinking about the past regarding family and friends, but Spear keeps saying, take action to clean up anything that is negative, having to do with home or family and or negative thoughts so that you can indeed come to the edge and create something new because you are transforming. That means an old, whatever it is, is burning away, right? Spirit is now shifting you. The universe is shifting you. What are they shifting you away from? Well, this. So in the subconscious position, we have the never-ending story. We have a perfectly capable fairy here who can go and spread her wings and fly and do whatever she wants. But this particular fairy is sitting above this glass-encased heart that says, yes, no, maybe so, will they, won't they, and so on. So there's never-ending story is what's confusing maybe this Libra in the area of home or family. So it is very important to ground yourself by creating a hobby, gift, talent, skill, small business idea on the side or whatever it is that you enjoy doing for this process is going to ground you and help you to think about the past versus the future and how you're going to move forward because someone here really needs to let go of how something may or may not transpire in the area of maybe a family member. <clears throat> now, in the day-to-day -day aspects position, we have take a nap. <laughs> so spirits say make sure you get enough sleep, right? Sleep is super, super important. It's very good for your health. And a lot of people in today's society are just too busy to slow down and take a nap. You know, ask yourself, when's the last time I took a nap? You know, maybe on a Sunday at noon during a football game i'm going to let myself kind of snooze you know some people are like traumatized by the thought of that but that can affect one very adversely i think they're saying take some time to rest day to day as spirit's going to help you to kind of take action to clean up anything that's negative in your life especially having to do with home and family others are going to be cleaning out your home uh maybe doing kind of a spring cleaning in the fall either way in the inner strengths position look at this libra spirit is giving you the strength of the flexible flexible card okay so this is about planting seeds goals and intentions tending to those seeds daily um waiting patiently with the number 19 19 to me is the beginning of an end right as i plant new seeds some things are going to die away, but whatever I continue to put my time and effort to and prayer and faith and positive thoughts. I know that as I remain flexible, hand my worries to spirit and ask spirit to let things transpire in the highest, best way, that spirit will help me to see which path, which idea, project is going to grow and prosper. 
So some of you Libras, you know what you're working on or towards. You're contemplating your future. You're contemplating stepping into a new path or direction, but you are definitely transforming emotionally. Or someone around you is. Hmm. So in a three-card summary to my right. Okay, well, that makes more sense. Again, mid-November of 2020, there is a, a Libra who's feeling a little bit conflicted here. And Spirit's saying, watch. Just watch a minute. Ground yourself. For whichever Libra you are, uh, some of you have done the work. You put the work in. Or Spirit is nudging you to do so. So that you can shine in the light of others. So that you can move forward and or receive something. Even if it's clarity about what you're passionate about. Because yes, indeed, a lot of people are getting the Between Worlds card where they are leaving the past behind and are stepping into a beautiful new beginning. You got the number three there that's jumping out at me, the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Like I said, the universe wants to direct us into a path of peace, joy, and happiness. And for some Libras, it's like, okay, well, when is it going to happen, right? But the by the book energy is Spirit's way of saying, we are going to help to guide you into and through a transformation until you see which path grows and prospers as long as you release control and understand that things need to happen in a certain sequence before they can evolve so they're saying breathe use your imagination and wait on divine timing because eventually a doorway is going to open up for you here libra and you're going to know it's time to go towards what towards gifts, towards kind words and messages. I think the transformation spirit's talking here emotionally is, is I'm no longer going to uh, let other human beings ignore me and allow myself to sit in energies of feeling forgotten or left out. You won't feel forgotten because some form of gifts, kind words and messages will be coming your way and it puts you in your element in a state of balance. So with the fork in the road energy, somebody here, this Libra could be standing at a fork in the road. Today's the 6th. I'm going to say the 19th to the 21st of November. <clears throat> You're going to be able to come out of chaos and actually look at something that's opening up for you. Now, there may be indecision still. By the end of November for this Libra, you're thinking about and or will be recognizing unhealthy patterns, behaviors, or cycles with the round and round energy. Thinking about uh, what didn't work in comparison to what can work. Realizing that something or someone that glittered was not gold, right? Uh, that once the gold blew away and the mask came off, uh, either you weren't content or somebody else wasn't content. Maybe someone wasn't being honest here, and that's a fear. Either way, you've got the milk and honey energies here. So Spirit's trying to guide you into a path of overflowing peace, joy, happiness, and abundance. There will come a deep knowing here. As you clean uh, your thoughts and shift to more positive thoughts and plant those seeds day to day, there's going to be a change in the wind, some form of emotional transformation. Or regeneration and by the end of November this Libra is saying you know what I'm gonna remain poised even when someone doesn't answer my calls or doesn't get back to me or I feel left out because what I am working on or towards with the happy happy energies this egg represents your goals and intentions and spirit giving you the key to happiness as you do what as you build a solid foundation beneath you as you create something that brings stability and security, whereby you grow during the process, not only financially and materially, but within your soul. For this process is going to bring you peace. And you're going to recognize signs and synchronicities and understand that spirit was trying to get you into the direction of the right project, the right idea, or even the right person. So I do want to clarify with the Gypsy Oracle deck this circle spread for Libra. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please clarify these messages for whichever Libra I am reading for during this general reading. 
Yeah, so we have someone here waiting, waiting for a transformation, waiting as they contemplate a new path by offering some form of service, right? Etsy, Amazon, YouTube, you name it. This is where people start. We are all on the same level. In fact, big corporations are coming down and even unique people within those corporations are starting to go on YouTube. And it's like the YouTubers who've been doing this for a long time are way ahead of the game, which is interesting. So in the actions position, we have sitting here and now. Wait patiently. Okay, so the past card is going in the direction of money. We have uh, a Libra who may be reflecting on money tied to the past in relation to another or others. And Spirit's saying, sit in the here and now. Wait before taking action. For somebody's going to come to you. Interesting. So in the creative aspects position, we have a Libra here who's wanting to create a situation having to do with family or children. Some Libras may be taking action to connect with your family, your tribe, and you're thinking about your past or your childhood. Some are thinking about money in their childhood here. Not together, but individually. So in the actions position, we have a conversation so if there is a conversation that you're feeling held and stuck back that you want to have, Libra, Spirit's giving you the strength to clean things up or to clear things up, right? And have this conversation. Somebody may come towards you and have a conversation. And as you are shifting more to the positive, old patterns, behaviors, cycles, experiences, or connections are burning away. And now some of you, whether this young woman energy is you or another person, um, somebody is going to come into your life or you're going to go through a rebirth. So you're either going to go through emotional rebirth by the end of November, Libra, or you're going to go through an emotional uh, transformation because of this young woman that is coming towards you. Because it's like this person here is sitting back looking at the young woman who somebody is, it's somebody who's ready for a deeper commitment partnership or contract. And, and this young male or female person is sighing as they think about a service. They're contemplating coming to the edge. They're sitting in the here and now. They're contemplating a situation or a, a, a connection whereby money is a part of that thought. Yeah, we have a Libra here in the subconscious position who is kind of just waiting, waiting for change in the area of money, waiting so that they can finally, maybe because of COVID, maybe because of money, uh, to become or to have a wife energy, right? A deeper commitment partnership or contract. So day to day, when it comes to the home environment, I feel like we have, or business, or a home business. We have a very tired Libra. So again, spirit saying, take some time to find some time to rest. Even if it's a little cat nap, um, look at this. While well, the kids are sleeping, she's sighing in awe and she's looking at this child or she's looking or he at their past, thinking about their home, hoping for a future whereby there's a change in the area of money. So in the inner strengths position, spirit saying, continue to plant new seeds, goals, intentions, ideas, and projects for yourself and do not give up. Continue to tend to them day to day, right? It's all about cause and effect. The more effort and positivity you put into planting these seeds, the more positively your karma will turn out. And the karmic result for a lot of you Libras is that you're going to receive the melancholy energy or spirit is giving you in the inner strengths position the strength to find contentment as you plant seeds, goals, and intentions, uh, clearing the air, feeling a rebirth, and hoping eventually here that you can, hmm, somebody's traveling towards you with faithfulness. Okay, so some may be worried about a commitment. That's kind of going on because there's a lot of disruptive energy. Yeah, and then at the end of the reading, we have uh, fortune and hope. So again, we have a Libra who is hoping for some form of fortune so that they can celebrate joyfulness in their life. 
Some may be connecting with a Scorpio during the second half. Okay, of November of 2020. And that may be that this person is saying, I was reborn and now I'm looking at a person who is uh, stable and secure, who's ready for commitment. Yeah, masculine, prophet, sweetheart, wedding, love, but then feeling stuck or trapped because the cheerfulness isn't there. This is definitely about shifting your thoughts and your energy to the positive. Very, very important uh, during the second half of November. Keep working on what you're working towards, but trust in prayer that if you're worried about money, uh, the future is about to open up, but it, it does involve effort, right? You got to plant those seeds. Uh, in a stable and balanced way, trusting in prayer, having faith that eventually you're going to be able to clean things up somehow, have a conversation. And hopefully, maybe for some of you, if you've been waiting for someone else to go through a rebirth, I think someone here is just waiting to see if that's going to transpire, and they're really hoping so. Yeah, so with the two of action, look at this. One idea or another idea. One passionate connection or another passionate connection. One financial direction or another financial direction. So the overall energy for this Libra uh, for the second half of November of 2020 is Libra trust in your ability to make excellent choices. There are opportunities or there will be opportunities all around you. If you'll just continue to remember that Spirit's giving you the strength to plant these seeds, goals, and intentions, and ideas. Some of you may be taking on a new partner who can help you to be a success in your career or your creative endeavors. Keep your eyes on the big picture rather than the details of the moment. Yeah, out with the old, in with the new. So there may be new ideas that happen and then you're like, oh, I'm going to go for the new ideas and uh, do that instead. And uh, they're saying there will be a, com uh, a successful completion by the end of November. It's a time of great, uh, incredible accomplishment, exclamation mark. You're being justified in a feeling of joy, a sense of completion and pride in the amazing job that you have done. You've been blessed with so many spiritual insights at this time. Soon you will begin a new journey. But for now, take time to bask in the happiness of your dreams that are coming true. So there's transformation as you plant seeds. And for many of the collective, a doorway of tri triumph is opening up for you. What are you going to devote your loyal heart to? Trust in prayer, right? We got the higher power and a loyal heart. That spirit is going to guide you to co-create with the right one. Should I or shouldn't I? So again, if these messages have resonated for you, great. And you have further questions regarding your own journey, write me for a personal reading at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. Um, thank you again uh, to the likes, shares, and subscribes. To those of you whom have donated to keep the channel up and running, take care and God bless.